Okay. It's a lot of good stuff, a lot of good glassware. I am salivating. Oh, it's looking nice to set up out here you got, dude. It's a fat cat. I'm gonna take you in here for a moment. Yep, we got vintage Christmas. Happy birthday! Which these always do well. These older plastic Christmas yard ornaments, beautiful pieces. We're starting to break this stuff out, it's good stuff. Fenton glass, I mean, this little piece right here goes for like $40. They have a beautiful collection of thimbles. Probably the best collection of thimbles I've ever seen. Just a great variety. I mean, you got the classic like souvenir ones like Nashville, and then you got just like these intricate looking ones that are just, that are just cool designs and awesome colors. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, this person was a collector and they collected very unique and desirable items. These little elephants are cool. Probably made in Japan. Those ones are not marked. These were made by a company in Japan called Norleans. They're not worth a whole bunch, but they're just neat pieces. And then you got like little ashtrays like this. No parking. Made in Japan, probably from the 60s. It's a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. It's a really cool piece. We're gonna keep unwrapping and see what we got here. Oh! Vintage Halloween. That is a cool looking piece. Is that like animatronic? Oh, it's light up. Yeah, that's a nice piece. It's a very nice piece right there. I like it a lot. It's a lot more nice pieces. Even the, even the not super old Halloween stuff, the 80s and the 90s stuff, it'll still do really well. I mean, sometimes it can climb into the hundreds. It's, it's marked on the bottom. Or maybe a person. Maybe a person. That even might be handmade, but that is a, that's even cool. That's even cooler if it's handmade. I know. See, those are just neat little pieces. It's man. like she put this there to this place. Yeah. What else we got? Oh, pumpkin pack. People eat that stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah, they do. This is like newer stuff. The people would buy 50 cents a dollar. Ooh! Yeah, we can look. Nice. See, with estate sales, there's all different types of people that come to estate sales looking for all different types of items. Nobody's looking for the same thing. Something you think is trash, somebody else might think is absolute gold. And that certainly might be the case. What you think is trash could turn into cash. Exactly. And it's worth $125. You better believe it's worth $125. Rare Fenton glass. We gotta put, we're gonna put all, no, but we're gonna have to put all the glass in the same room. Look at this. That's a cool piece, even. It's from 2005, probably like a Hobby Lobby piece or something. That's a neat little piece, dude. Wow, that is a cool looking piece, too. Another one that's not super old, but just a cool looking piece. Look at that. Goofy ass ghost with like a pumpkin. Uh-oh, I think we got a Fenton. Hold this. This is worth 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah, because people remember it's from 2005. Here, I think we got a Fenton here. We do. It was $38 brand new. Fenton, it's yeah, Fenton. Yeah, that's probably worth a buy. Halloween pumpkin head bear by Fenton Glass. That is a gorgeous piece, guaranteed to be worth over $100. Yeah, worth 125, 150. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna ask 100 for him. That's why I'm going through this stuff. Oh, yeah. What do you think? So, so far we, we showed you the house empty and here's a little taste of what we've been doing. This is another Fenton piece, an Easter piece, bunny. Now look at that, hand painted by, it tells the person's na name, it says, this is number 892 of 3,500. They only made 3,500 of this piece. $170. $170 for that piece, only one on there. These are very rare pieces, folks. So if you see Fenton things anywhere, sticker that says Fenton, and it's a figure, or it's like holiday theme, pick it up, because it's probably worth at least 150 bucks. Very rare on those. Very rare. And look, look, it's just adding up. All right, folks, another Fenton piece. This is a, what, a duckling? Or a yeah. duckling? Probably like an Easter style piece. Let's see how much.
beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. They just keep coming. It's endless. I think that's a double. We already have like two or three of those. That one's cool. Here's another vase. This vase cost a hundred dollars. This must be an anniversary piece. Yeah, that's probably that was a hundred. Six hundred seventy-four of twenty-five hundred. Well, it's so rare. That's not on there. It's not even on there. Cause there's one like it. Yeah. But it's this one's limited. It's made by Fenton. Yeah. Cool. There it is. Probably is. This is Fenton. It's solid. It's just so heavy. 1208 out of 3750. This is a massive Fenton collection. This lady, she collected more Fenton than anybody in the United States of America. Probably. I mean, she might have one of the biggest Fenton collections out here. 100% one of the biggest, no doubt. That's Fenton. That's a Fenton bell. Ooh, that's a nice one. Look at the ruffle edges on the bottom. This bell was $40 new. Yeah. No one's doing that. No one's doing that. No estate sales doing that. We're lighting them up. And this this Santa Claus, he's that's the oldest. Dope. He's the oldest one of all of them. The Santa Head, 1968 by... Okay. When you're looking for these older Christmas pieces, look for companies like Empire. This is from 1968, the Santa Head. So, people born in those eras remember these pieces, and they go looking for them. She actually has sold on eBay for over $130. Now, when you go to estate sales, you kind of want them to be a fun experience, too. I've been to probably over a thousand estate sales in my days. I used to go all the time. Now that we're running them, you know, I'll, I'll probably be not going as much. However, I know what people want to see because I know what I wanted to see when I showed from estate sale. You want to see things organized, but also priced well. Certain things you might want to see a little disorganized, uh, depending on who you are, but... For the most part, you just want quick, concise pricing so you can get in, get out. If you're a reseller, make money. And if you just want some things for your collection or your home, then you can do that as well. A lot of this game is about placement. You want people to be able to see everything all at once and not really know what direction to go into. You don't want to overcrowd things, but you want it to look full. Got a little bit of Christmas, a little bit of holiday everywhere, just to keep people in the spirit. Some of these fabrics and linens. Salt and pepper shakers, figurines, piggy bank.
We just want everyone to get a fair deal all around. We're obviously open to negotiations. We just... sought after pieces here. Now we researched each figure, each vase, each basket, each piece individually. We looked at sales data. We looked at how many were on the market in a given period, trying to give collectors or resellers some room there to make a profit or have some equity in their collection. Now, obviously we're open to deals. If you're willing to buy more than one piece or, you know, multiple pieces, we are willing to make deals with you based on the quantity you're trying to buy.